today we've been back from Ireland for a few days all the jet lag's gone so today we are going to talk a little bit about our up and competitions whether or not I'm doing Europe's Tom's decided not to as you know we'll talk about that then our world's strongest man prep right. what we've taken on from the last couple of competitions what we've learned a huge shout out to the guys at eight sleep as well they've just sent us up a mattress which is a cooling mattress which sounds pretty good obviously the weather does get a little bit warmer in Scotland and by a few degrees but both Cushy and Sinead like it quite warm in the rooms don't they so it's got a dual cooling mattress so one side of the mattress can heat up other side can cool down or whatever you want so we're going to try that and um, this is the boxes here yeah, so basically increases your sleep apparently by 30 40 percent there's an app and everything so don't say we're going to set it up big fight to eight sleep go check them out on instagram and we're going to go see what it looks like right guys so we're up in the room uh, let's see if this fits, fingers crossed. So what size is this? This is a California King, which I think is about a Queen. Super no, Super, Super King, King in UK terms. <laughs> also, quick fact, Rihanna did a song called California King did. So Rihanna, hit me up. She's pregnant, you know? Oh, you're there. <laughs> this you know like oh oh wow see when it's weird because when it comes it's all flat pat and you think how the heck's this i thought you had to blow it up <laughs> so uh now it's all soft but this is unbelievable by the way oh let's see if i can sort of it no i don't want to have this i'm sweating this is cushy side so oh. i'm like cush oh jeez i just wonder how it works it's so cool can you sit on that side tom I'm gonna go to sleep for eight minutes. I'm eight hungry. Oh, this is, this feels so Right, we don't have to turn around. Eight. Hey, hey, Kush. Yeah, bruv, innit? From London, bruv. Love you, babes. Off your farmer. What's in the box, Tom? We soon find out. As you can see, that was very easy for myself. On the other hand, for Luke, I mean, he's had to do all the work. Been Twelve rounds with uh, Literally had Tyson work. Fury. I'm just like, I was stood there. I zipped stuff up. I was the brains of the operation. Remember what happened last time with that safe? I oh, know. Do mind? That was the other way around. Okay, let's do it. So this cover, it's got like veins going through it. It's called. So you can see there's a, a cord here. We plug this into. There's a little box there that you fill up with water, and then that pumps water throughout the cover and then that determines how hot or cold you want it so my side is this side it'll be extremely cold for me that side is Cushy's side she can be as hot as she wants it'll be, it'll be automatic for so when it looks no, it's when, not automatic yeah it is when, when you have it set up yeah it is no it's, you have to set it first and then it gets used to Oh, right, sorry, well, it get, it will eventually. So, this is so, so you have to set it up initially. You have to tell it what temperature you are. Then it gets used to. All right, and then it gets. Yeah, yeah. But eventually it'll automatically. Yeah, but not, you have to set it. It doesn't just set your fucking body. It's, it's like familiarisation. Yeah. It gets familiar with whatever you're setting it to. As you can see, it's quite a small little case. Plugged in like that. The water. So it's not healthy. Silica gel is not edible. You're welcome, it's Friday Night Facts with Tommy Facts. We're gonna put the water back in here. Should be a plug to this. We have power. As you can see, the blue light is on. So guys, once it's all connected, as you can see, it's flashing green. Then you download the 8 Sleep app. As you can see here, you go through, connect the Wi-Fi, etc, etc. And then, put your details in but I'm not setting this up this is Luke's bed so obviously it will say left right whatever side Luke wants to see about it will go left and then Cushy then will have to download the app and invite new partner and she can do right so then that's going to be 
loop setting, that's going to be Cushy setting, and then it'll probably add temperatures and stuff after that as well. But yeah, it was so easy to set up. As soon as the bed's in, you connect the USB to the 8 sleep, plug it into the wall, and then just follow the instructions on the app, and it's good to go. And we will see how the next three or four weeks is going when we sleep on the 8 sleep mattress, and hopefully we can get good sleep, so... Yeah, buddy. But it feels really comfortable, actually, for me. Um, obviously, Tom and I are a little bit heavier than your average person, so comfort is a key in the mattress, but this feels really comfortable. Hopefully, Cushy, I like it. I was just saying to Simon as well, I like the fact that it's black, because obviously I sweat a lot, sweat stains as well on mattresses, other stains, we won't go into that, you know what, you know what I'm talking about guys. If you've got a white mattress, it shows up stains, loads of, loads of stains, if you've got a black mattress, it's just a little bit more visually pleasing. Pretty pumped about it, I think it'll really help, because obviously when we're hot in bed, we sweat quite a lot, so again, dehydration kind of come into factor hopefully this will help us not sweat as much in bed especially when the temperature does increase and yeah as tom says we'll update you in a few weeks let you know how it's going for everybody that would be interested in buying one of these we'll have a discount code called stoltman for 20 percent off you just go on to the eight sleep website type it in and get some money off it so yeah stoltman Stay tuned. Stoltman. stoltman for 20 percent off what could you want? What more could you want? So go and buy yourself a bed. It can just be the mattress topper, so if you want to use your own mattress, you can just buy the mattress topper and the pod, so then you don't have to buy the whole thing. But we want to try the mattress as well, so, you know, we can take the mattress off and use the topper one day as well, so it's all good, it's all gravy. A big thank you to Eight Sleep for helping out with me and myself and Luke. Hopefully this will help us in uh, rec more recovery for World's Strongest Man. They're going to set us some stuff up when we're out there as well. And we will see you down at the office for some news on if Luke's doing what Europe's or not and our um, training and stuff for World's Strongest Man. See you soon. Savannah, Hodge, Camaro from Basset, plain and royal blue. Rangers flew and flew, putting on a show for you. Boom, boom, ah! Get us a song, Tommy. Diallo, aha, running down the way, aha, hear that angel sing, aha, we are going to win the league, hi! <laughs> Hey guys, that's us back in the office after the sweaty session of putting the mattress in. Again, super excited for that, but now we're going to have a little chat about what we've got coming up. So, Big Tommy, what's your plans? Uh, so my plans is for the next 10 weeks, I think it's just to get fat, right? <laughs> fat, recover, and get a bit stronger for World Strongest Man in 10 weeks. So World Strongest Man's at the end of May this year, instead of June. From Monday, I think it's like 10 weeks till Worlds. Obviously, this week's kind of just been a, <laughs> so I feel like a sloth, uh, sleeping, trying to get back to normality and just having fun but yeah for Monday kick on for World Strongest Man prep I'm not doing Europe so everybody's known that I'm not going to be there I didn't want to say I was doing it and then not doing it that's not really fair on people that are going to buy tickets so yeah I'm not doing Europe's uh, second year not doing it is obviously for the fact that Worlds for me um, it's important last year I had 10 weeks prep for Worlds and I won so <laughs> that's my plan this year is to have another 10 weeks of good prep myself and Dan have talked since Arnold's in Britain's and added a few things in that I wanted in and taken a few things out that I don't want, don't like. So yeah, we talked, sat down and uh, ready to rock and roll. And then what is your plan, Mr. Luke Stoltman? Thanks for asking, Tom. That's his gamer tag on uh, Xbox, by the way. What is? Mr. Luke Stoltman. Yeah, it is, yeah. Look me up. Um, so I had a good call with Darren Sadler um, from Giants Live, the owner of Giants Live, or one of them, um, yesterday. So I was in two minds after Arnold's. Arnold's was a super heavy competition. Really happy with my performance there. I think I could have won that if it, you know a couple of things went my way. You know, it gives me a really boost, real big boost of confidence, especially after Britain's. I had a chat with Darren, so I said to him that I didn't think I was going to do Europe's um, purely for the fact, as Tom says, you know, we've got 10 weeks until World's Strongest Man. Um, and then I had a little chat with him regarding the events there. I think some of the events are quite similar to Worlds. Back and forth, kind of to and froing. And yeah, 
basically, long story short, I got quite excited when I was thinking about doing the Max Log Press, um, doing these other events at Europe's is a great show. I'm the defending champion as well. So I am going to be down at Europe's Strongest Man on 2nd of April, I believe it is. We'll be down there, or I'll be down there, sorry, um, to defend the title. I'm really excited for it. I think that'll give me a good test. So we've got, like say, Max Log, it'll probably be a, it'll be a pressing event in Worlds. There'll be a deadlift event in Worlds. There'll be probably some type of moving. There'll be stones. There'll be power stairs, so who knows. But... It'll just give me a good insight to where I am. You know, it's only two to three weeks away. I'm not taking, so I spoke to Dan yesterday as well, just to kind of get his opinion on it. So what we're going to do, rather than take a deload session the week before like I normally do, just going to train as normal the week before and just act as a, a kind of event session um, for Europe's, which I think is a good shout because, as Tom says, there's only 10 weeks to Worlds. I genuinely believe after the Arnold's that, I, I can be up there and, and win World's Strongest Man, so that's what I've got to do. Tom showed everyone last year that, you know, the Stoltmans were not here to, to take part anymore. We're here to win these competitions, and it's going to be tough, obviously, with all the great guys that have been invited. You've seen it, the World's Strongest Man on social media, they've announced all these amazing athletes. It's going to be super exciting to be there. But yeah, we're, we're coming to win, and we've got to have the, the best prep we've ever had. Um, in order for that to happen. So for me, I think Europe's is going to be a great part of my prep, see where everything's at. And, you know, I get a go against Iron Bibby in the log press. You know, after the weekend, I felt there was another 15 kilos easy on that log. Um, and the Austrian Oak is probably one of the hardest logs to press. So for me, really pumped up, really excited. I'm actually going in today for a log session. Um, Dan's asked me just to go in and do a heavy triple, so. <laughs> Come on, nice and steady. Easy. Nice. a new set of Atlas stones tomorrow from Atlas Endurance so it's up to 210 yeah something like that 210 yeah I think it's 210 it's nice to have 100 case Atlas stone back I brought that a long time ago so. and then we're talking with a couple of people about a new warehouse we're going to get a stone platform made get a few different things made as well we just need to look after this guy we just need to if they're in warehouse just put dust covers over them because mm. that was our biggest mistake when mm. it went from stones to now oh, don't know what they mm. call these stones. But it's good, there's a few, like the last stone session we had, we've got this this jet engine heater, whatever you call oh, it, a jet heater. So we had that on against the stones, so it warmed them up. So we're going to do that, I think, every time, which will replicate the temperature out uh, in Sacramento when we're at Worlds. So um, that'll see how, I think it's more for me, my tacky and my sweat reacts to the stones. Again, it's just covering things. It's just these little small things, I think, can really add up to big things. At the end of the day, we need to keep it as simple as we can as well, because... The simplistic things, I think, are the best things that work. So trying to cool our temperature, that's something that's very basic. You know, trying to stay hydrated, again, that's very basic. Following our training plan, following our diet, recovery, again, that's all very basic. And that's what we've been doing for a long time. But we just need to ensure that every day that's what we're doing. And I think we're both very committed to that. It'll be good. So yeah, I'm doing Europe's Strongest Man in April, start of April. Buzzing there, buzzing to see you guys there. It's an awesome arena down in Leeds. It's going to be another awesome show. Giants Live put on incredible shows, one day shows. It's, um, yeah, the adrenaline will be, be high then. And then after Europe's straight back in the training for World's Strongest Man, keep you updated. So I think our first session will be on Monday, which is a deadlift session. So maybe film that, show you where we're going with the training, how we're training, bringing that intensity back to training as well, which I'm really excited with. And then our diet. I may come down to Europe strong as man as well, actually. You don't have to, it's fine. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Do you want to compete? 
No. All right. Can we watch? All right, Lincoln. Cheer you on. <laughs> Be my bad bitch. Because the Rangers Celtic game's on the 3rd of April. So. It's nice how Tom, like, his priority is, like, watching football rather than his brother doing Europe's strongest man. Well, it's not actually... Thanks, Tom. ...a priority, you know. I believe in you, but when you have the opportunity <laughs> to walk on a football pitch with your trophy, it's a special moment for myself. So. Not a special moment to watch his brother retain Europe's strongest man, but... I mean, I could do two, both, you know. I'm only joking, I'm only playing with you. So, so uh, yeah, Europe's will be good for Luke. I think, it's like with Britain's, I think all these events are, get, are different now, which is mm. good to see. They're not just doing the, not the boring ones, but the kind of... The genetic, yeah, yeah, like the, the basic. Axel Derla, the normal Atlas Stones, the blah, blah, this. They're actually doing stuff that you get excited to compete mm. for, and I think that's important. Well, there's a Power Stairs and Giants, I don't think that's been in for a while, so... Mm. That must have something to do with World Strongest Man and some loading stuff and that. But yeah, it'll be cool that you get to try them. And yeah, see, I want to see these power stairs. I like the how Britain's had the sandbag toss. <laughs> so power stairs are going to be cool mm. to watch. I used to watch it with Marius Puskanovsky and that did it. And the races there, people had there mm. was unbelievable. I don't yeah. know how high they are. I think in the olden days it was five, six. I think it's three steps. Oh, oh that'd be cool. You could just chat them from first to further. <laughs> hey. No, explosiveness is all about. I think, no, I think it is good because last year, obviously, we're still the pandemic. It was tough for them to do any new events, so they had to just use what they got. But now this year, we're all opened up. They're kind of been exploring different uh, events, which is great. And I think that's what makes the Giants live show so exciting. And it helps strongmen coming up as well, that mm. have an all-rounder game instead of just training the same five events mm. for every single show. It's going to make you good at five events, but not... If you go up to World Strongest Man and mm. get invited to other comps, you're going to get... See now, aren't you? Also, a quick one as well. Just a wee chat about uh, JF Caron um, and his recovery process. I believe he's back in Canada now. He's got operated on. But um, Maxime Boudreau and Samantha, his girlfriend, are putting on a competition for JF. Uh, for JF. So I think it's squats for JF. We'll put some details down below. But we've said we'll sponsor it and put some money towards it, as as well as you know a lot of other companies have. So it's a great thing. Obviously, JF Caron's one of the most iconic strongmen in the world. We are going to be doing a, a t-shirt for JF as well, so look out for that coming soon. That's just getting made. We will obviously donate all, all that money to JF. He actually gave us a present as well, just before his injury happened. He gave us a present out at Arnold's. It was a grip, a grip device, and it was so nice for him to actually think about us and want to give us that. So really as much appreciated JF, and we wish you the most speediest of all recoveries. You are one of the the true legends, and I, I don't throw that word a, around very much, but J.F. Caron is one of the true greats, the true legends of Strongman, and he proved that in the squat and Arnold's, he was a cut above the class, uh, everyone else, he was just absolutely impeccable, and I hope that we will see him again at a competition. My heart goes out to you, your family, all your friends, please know that you're with us in our thoughts every day, because we just want you to to make a full recovery and we want to come out and see you in Quebec as well, it'd be amazing. So yeah, we'll put in some details on this video down below for the competition that Maxim and Samantha are doing, so yeah, big shout out to them. So guys, that's pretty much it, we're gonna, I've got physio today, you've got physio after me, I've got a little log session to do, I'm gonna go and get the van, we've got to pick up the Atlas Stones tomorrow, so quite a busy couple of days, and then next week the prep for the Stoltmans to retain world's strongest man and Europe's started. strongest man and Europe sorry and Europe I mean we've got a sign to live for you know? <laughs> we can't let the people of Invergordon down we will fulfil the prophecy and win Britain's Europe's world we have to do the, the tally mark so I don't one you'll have one and we can get the five for the we'll get a gate. we'll get a gate one day <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching as always thank you so much for the support thank you for buying our merchandise if you do enjoy these videos please don't forget to comment below like the video please subscribe please keep buying our merch it means an awful lot we are trying to change things with the athletes by giving them their own merchandise we're giving profits to them we're trying to show show people that it is possible to become a full-time strongman because because of you guys, we have changed our lives. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay safe, smile, stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling! -a -ling -a -ling. <laughs>